Yo, hey everyone, Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing some more Planet Zoo, continuing with our zoo, and hey, our ringtails are about to have babies, which is good. I need them to grow up. I need them to grow up, which will be great, which will be great, which will be great. So, with our cheetahs, should we give contraceptives to, like, the babies so that they don't accidentally mate with their dad? Eh. Eh. I don't really care. The more babies, the better, and I can sell them off. <laughs> We're gonna become a puppy mill. Oi, oi. It's kind of sad. Why Why are you... Don't you have a line here? You actually don't have a line anymore. People aren't taking the boat. Huh. Yeah, people are not taking the boat. I wonder why. What about over here? Are people taking it this way? No, people are just not riding the boat. But why? Yeah, why is no one taking the boat? Interesting. It's open, right? It works. People can still access it. Yes. Huh. Huh. Yeah, you can still access it. Maybe because I have so many cages in between? Huh. They want to stop and see everything? That's a little weird. You guys have low welfare. I mean, I can't really adjust that. I kind of wish I could shut that off because I don't really care about the low welfare issues. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. And it, like all they have to do is just walk away just a little bit and then they're fine. You know, we put in all this water here, and then these guys just never go swimming. <laughs> they never go swimming. So we have the most epic of freaking encounters, enclosures. Um, I'm going to do this really quick. Let's, because we never ended up doing TVs and stuff like that over here. So I'm going to throw just a TV here and a speaker here let's get both of these going on the hippos should probably throw some more in there but I don't really care then let's do tip jars man probably should put another TV over here but whatever whatever then we're gonna put a tip thing here Let's go grab a TV here. I don't think this is the right height. Does not appear to be the right height. There you are. Let's go right until it disappears. There you go. Something like that. And get you curving just a little bit with then more ambient speaker. Eh, that. And so then the hippo, the hippo. And then we also have some really good views here. It looks like people are watching. Sure, give me another TV. I think it's this way is actually the best way, right? Yep, 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 yep. And we can throw you, is that on the ground? Put it there, whatever. <laughs> and hippo, hippo. And then we need tip jars. Give me all of your money. I want money. I want your money. All right, that should be enough. Tip jars. Surely. Probably. Probably. You know what we need? We're going to need another enclosure over here. Also, I think we are going to switch this to a regular path. And we'll have it go around. Taurus is about to have offspring. Vet research is complete. I don't think I care unless it was... Yeah, okay, never mind. We do care then. So, with you completely done... Are you still researching... No, you stopped. So we have an extra guy now. So let's put the extra guy on the cheetah. Now, now let's do you on the hippo. Because the cheetah already had quite a bit enrichments. The hippo already had quite a bit too. I don't really know. Um, I guess it's just worth getting better food maybe. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't think the better food helped our... Oh, 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 that reminds me, that reminds me, that reminds me. It has been literally about a minute, so we should probably go ahead and 
call a keeper to clean the hut. <laughs> Probably. Even though it's at 100%, I don't care. I don't care. Hippo had, ooh, yay, you're expecting offspring. Nice, nice. You're hungry. Where did we put your food? There? We got a lot happening. Um, but let's go grab one more food. I don't really need to do this uh, for the hippo, but whatever. Let's just make sure it's the right one. It's P, right? Yeah, there it is. Whoopsie. And let's do a medium size. And let's call a keeper. Keeper on route. Yeah, let's get him feeding. Okay, so we finally finally appear to have gotten an adult yeah we have two males in here now sweet sweet uh best way to do it's probably going to be this way zoo animals let's see if this actually works so those are gariel's g oh my gosh it works sweet so you're 29 you're an adult female you're 34 adult female Let's go maturity. We can have as many females as possible, but we can only have one male. I remember this. Yeah, we can have seven females or seven males by themselves. Wait, no, we can only have one and one. Wait. Right? Hold up. Maybe I'm misreading this. I think we can have multiple males and females. Group size can be one. Yeah, up to seven males, seven females. So we just can't have more than seven then. So... What's the issue then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No? Those are infants. Huh, what's the issue? Oh, it's the now monitors. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Uh, the stressing doesn't matter. The stressing doesn't matter. The now monitors... Let's see if you're going to work here. This would be very helpful if it worked. For whatever reason, the now monitors just don't want to freaking show up that way, which is really annoying. So... Now monitor, now monitor, now monitor, and... All right, let's look here. We got an adult. Those are young adults. Okay, so these guys all just aged up. So I kind of feel like we get rid of you. Then that leaves us... We get rid of you. That leaves us with two males and a female. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Which, apparently, I can't do. The thing broke. Wait, he's already in the Trade Center. What? Animals will fight due to incorrect sex ratio. Huh? Huh? I have two males and a female. Which was acceptable. Up to two males and two females. We have two males and two females. Oh, they actually are currently fighting right now. Well, how old are you? 4.8, 4.8. I guess we'll just get rid of one of these males and be done with it. Who sucks? Who is worse genetics? So you're 83, 66, 91, 41. 83, 50. I think you're slightly worse. So we're going to box you. And then we are going to move to the trade center. Please. Invalid. Why can't I go to the trade center? Eh. Animal trade center. Delivery scheduled. There we go. Is that fine? Yes. You're severely dehydrated. I mean, if only there were 6,000 places of water in this place, but here, I'll give you another one. You know, they, it might actually just, we need more water because we have so many animals. 
In here. Maybe he can't move because he's dehydrated. I mean, he's not doing anything. He's literally just sitting there right now. There's water all over the place. Also, their coverage is a little low, I'm just not realizing. Huh. They could use a little more coverage. Alright, well, congratulations. Here's another plant. Does that help? Uh, not exactly. Did I get the coverage higher? Nope. Ugh, fine. Give me the big tree. Maybe that's why he's dehydrated. Because the coverage is low. Coverage is still terrible. What the heck, game? Hi. You know what? I think it's broke. I think it's broke. Because we're up to 54% and still there. So we're just going to do it. Oh my god! Calm down. Black bears. Okay, so our black bear just aged up. Our baby just became an adult. So the question is... Oh my god, look at all the little babies. They're so cute. Oh yeah, we have a lot of babies. 4.8, 4.8... 13.6. Let's go this way. Now, bears, we can only have one and one. Uh, F. For the love of God, can we please, like, have this actually work right? So, F. So, we have three. You're 23, you're 18, and you just became a young adult. Now, the question is, do we want to sell off our adults and maybe buy a new baby to go with our baby? What's their age? 31. I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking yes. So, uh, hold up. Wrong button. How old was... It was a boy, was it not? Yeah, it's a 4.8 year old boy. So then that means we need a girl. Give me the female. Get rid of that. Go F. What are we at here? 509. 10 years. I think I'd rather get a younger one. Eh, you suck though. You're really good, but you're 31. Piss off. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. You'll be a little bit older, but that's okay. So we'll move you there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sell off both of our other ones. So the two adults. So we're basically just replacing our two adults. Um, so you and you are going to both go to Trade Center. Let's move to Trade Center. Wait, why is the female not moving? What? Huh? That was weird. That was weird. Dehydrated, low welfare, wool welfare, whatever. We're good there. Um, So I want to sell off our bears then. So you're the 10.7. You need to get moved to here. Congratulations. Our females, let's see, the females, you know what? Let's just get rid of both. Let's just look here. Filter. They're selling for about 200 a pop. These guys are 10... You know, I think I'm good selling them for like 200 a piece. I don't want to be that kind of person that sells the super old ones. So, like you're 23. I think I'm going to sell you for like 120. I mean, you're 23 and you still have 100% fertility. That's pretty dang good. Just going to be honest. Let's go like 180. I'm just going to sell you for a discount though. Just because I'm not going to be that person. And then your fertility is kind of bad. And I actually can't sell you. I got to sell you for cash. That's fine. Meh. Meh. All right. We should be good then. Um, Let's also pop over to our tortoise thing. Just because all of you keep yelling at me about how tortoises don't like water. Let's go ahead and adjust this real quick. So I'm going to get rid of this water. I am going to raise this... Whoopsie. 
I don't want it this big. Something like this. What? Huh? What? What? Let's do something like this. And then I'm just going to throw the water in here. Obstructed. And then you can just have a little bit of water there. And so now it's more of a view. It's more of just the chance that, you know, hey, you can, there's just, there's water. If they want to go into the water, that's totally acceptable. If not, whatever. Let's just raise this terrain here. Let's just, like, flatten this out just a little bit. What is going on here? Like, what the heck is this? Is there a barrier here? Or, like, what the heck? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, we just buried our turtle. It is what it is. He'll pop out. Surely he'll be fine. <laughs> Can I lower you at least? What the actual heck is that? I have no idea. So let's just do this then. To hide whatever the freaking heck was going on there? Yeah, and give me one more like here. Let's hit X. Let's do X. Let's do it this way because it's going to be a little easier then. Pull you like that. Go this way and go down just a little bit. Something like that. Okay, sure. I'm assuming he just got boxed up. We just killed our turtle. <laughs> we just buried him. Actually, I think he popped out. I think he popped out is what happened. So, severely dehydrated, stressed. I mean, no offense, there's so many places for you to go hide. So it's kind of on, you're climbing, what? My turtles have superpower, guys. What is happening here? My turtles have superpowers. <laughs> go, buddy, go, buddy, fly, fly away. Fly away. Is this still the same dude? What the heck, man? Um. I mean, there's literally water right there. I'm gonna call a vet to the habitat, see if it fixes. Like, I don't understand. Like, why are you guys so stupid? Oh my god, can we stop breaking everything? Vet research is complete. The Chinese... Animals hungry. Um. Don't know. Go away. Don't know if we have a keeper, if we added another uh, caretaker. No, no, no. We want a keeper. Here. And then I need to do a new work zone. And I know we still need to adjust the work zones and all that stuff, but like, whatever. Staff room. Keeper hut. And then we're going to call this one, uh, hip. Small hip. And then, congratulations, new dude, you're in charge of small hip. So you really don't have much to do. You're going to be chilling for the most part. Where is it? It's always here. It's, it's in a weird spot. I feel like it should be on the first page, but whatever. Small hip. Small hip. There it is. Congratulations. You're now in charge of that. All right. Lots of issues. Oh, my lord. Everyone is stressed. I don't really know how to make them less stressed. Maybe I could just kick the people out. I could have the people maybe not on top of them. You know, the two-way glass would also be, this would be a really great place to put it, I think. It's like, just through here so they can't see it. Yeah. Ooh, the tapir is about to inbreed. Okay. Sure, have fun. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm not one to get in, in the middle of love, all right? I'm not going to be judgmental. They can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Okay, they're expecting offspring. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Surely one inbreeding's not a problem. It's when it's like multiple inbreeds. That's when there's problems, right? <laughs> That's when there's problems. Are people on the boats again? Yeah, people are on the boats again. I don't know what happened there. 
And it's just not that many people taking the boats. You guys are about to have offsprings. Nice. I want to see your guys' little baby. These are going to be like the cutest little babies, I'm sure. Oh, they're so cute when they roll up. Oh my god, they are tiny. What? Oh my god, it's like a tiny little rock. It's a little rock running around. Oh my god, I love them. Okay, water treatment's failing yet again. Thank God we have 6,000 dudes. What's happening here? Grizzly bear, congrats. Oh yeah, we finished the red rough. What? Animals escaped. Find it and call vet. How's an animal escaped? He's nowhere close to being escaping. Eh? <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. Um... One thing we could do, let's go facilities, uh, sorry, habitat, enrichment, and let's see if we got anything new on these guys. So these guys are the uh, red ruffed. Let's see what we have. Block of frozen fruit, we got. Block of ice, we should have, yeah. Cardboard box, we should have. Lots of climbable structures. Ooh, the musical keyboard, yeah. I'm pretty sure we didn't have one of those. Small roller. We got suspended forger. We got everything else I think we have. Yeah, I think everything else is good. Now, the question is, do we want to up the food? Why not? Yeah, why not? Barrier. Uh, we need a mechanic here soon-ish. Uh, let's do this. We could actually do three. Screw it. Let's do grade three food. I mean, the thing is, we don't really need the extra food. Why in speed two can I just not click anything? <laughs> it's like they're moving too fast to actually click on. Okay, there we go. My gosh. Um, but like, eh, the meal quality is kind of low. But like, they love life. They're just like super happy, man. I wonder if they live longer if we give them better food. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the purpose is. Okay, our zoo is doing good. We don't actually we're up to 737. So we sold off whatever we were looking to sell so Cheetahs I think probably only one male right, but we can probably have multiple females Only a group Only one female, but we can have multiple males. No one in one one in one But if we have a bunch of males three males will go together. They're promiscuous. Ooh, okay. And everyone's unhappy. These guys are unhappy because there's 16,000 of them and they only like to have two, correct? Uh, they could, I think, have three. So we're just going to get rid of a lot of these males then. Let's do that. Let's send them to the Trade Center. They're happy now. Um, By the way, God, I need two-way glass here. I really need two-way glass. Do you have another bear here? Is your other bear in this place? Should be two bears in here. There's only one. I'm gonna up your food quality. Maybe that'll make you a little happier. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh my god, he's so cute. Yeah, we definitely want to get that two-way glass then. I think so. That's what we're working on, right? Mechanic research. Barriers. Electric and then one-way glass getting there getting there P is ready to mature. Please tell me it didn't say P fall had babies Please tell me it didn't say P falls had baby. You think I can actually look for P fall this way? You think it'll actually work probably not no, nope. of course not. Why would it work? Whatever whatever I I I I I I I I I I I there we go Yes. God, so many freaking beefalls. Oh, oh, it's been like two minutes. Call keeper. <laughs> we just got to keep it going, man. Oh, 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 beefalls. Yes, yes. That means we have extra adults we can sell off. Uh, alpha status for bongos too. Oh my God, everyone's going crazy. Uh, if only I just was on the beefalls, man. I so wish this search would actually work right. Do we have a bunch of adults now? Young adult, can we sell a young adult? I don't remember.
juvenile. You can sell young adults, you can't sell juveniles. So, I am going to literally put all of them up for sale. <laughs> Not even joking. You're an infant. Infant, infant, infant. So, young adults here... Let's try this. Let's move all these to the Trade Center. Um, Let's check out our bongos real quick. So the bongos are cool with four males and four females. So do I care about the alpha status? I don't know. Is that a problem? Like, let him fight for alpha status. We're on speed three. No wonder this is going crazy. Yeah, I don't think I care about that. So the P-Files got fixed. Let's go ahead and sell off our P-Files then. Uh, when I was a young warthog. I'm sure P-Files are still super cheap. I'm sure this isn't worth actually spending any time putting prices. But I probably want to sell them for like 10 at least. Yeah, I think we're just going to sell them for 10 and be done with it. Indian P-Fall, trade. See, this is just so much work to do it like this. Because it like it doesn't quite work right. Trade, you know what? You can stay 8. Trade. Oh, you're terrible. I'll trade you for 3, that's fine. <laughs> uh, You're a baby. We'll put you up for 10. I know, I love how the golden one I sold for like the cheapest. Eh, whatever. Whatever. I don't really care. P falls. They're not worth anything. Trade. 10. Longevity. No one gives a crap about. Someone else can deal with the freaking P falls, man. <laughs> I think by future zoos, we're going to avoid P falls like a plague. Let's go 15, but I don't know anyone's actually going to go look for golden P falls. If they do, more power to them. Trying to breed like the greatest P falls, and I'm just like, I'm trying to get rid of the P falls because, quite frankly, they're horrible, and I hate the fact that I ever brought them in my zoo in the first place. They were cheap, that was the only reason I did it. Uh, sure, I actually don't know how much you're selling for. I'll put 50 up there, but cool, I didn't realize you were there. Okay, I think, like I said, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Komodo dragons, we have too many Komodos in here now. <sighs> I just want to watch the fight, man. I just want to watch the fight. I don't think they'll kill each other. Like, surely not, right? I don't know. We could get rid of the older one. One male, two females. So one to two. So we can only have one and one. Show then, in zoo, we want to please work. Pretty, pretty, please. Oh my god, why will it not work? So that means our baby grew up. Our babies? Baby. Komodo dragon. So we have two adults. We have two young adults. I'm gonna get rid of the two adults, and we're gonna have some inbreeding. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It'll be fine. Okay. Back to bongos. Can we, if we can actually see them fighting. I think the bongos are male alphas. Yes. So that means you're going to fight off another male. But I don't see any other male. Interesting. He is Yusini. He's 5.3 years old. How old is my other bongo? Oh, he's sleeping. That's why. <laughs> he is 1.9. How old do bongos live for? Bongos. 18 years. So I'm totally going to sell off the young one then. 
There you go. Congratulations. He's actually golden, too. Hmm, maybe I don't want to shell him off. You know what? I almost don't think I want to sell him off now. If he's golden, I don't care about the inbreeding. Inbreeding's whatever. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be okay. He's not in the hair yet. Then we have the Komodo dragons. I don't know how much the Komodo dragons freaking sell for. Um, let's unpause the game. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna deal with this later. Hey, Jelly Juice. Say hello. Got a reward for that. Animal trading. I'm just trying to look for my bongos. There you are. Uh, he's actually only silver. Alright, how much did Bongo sell for? Ugh, this is annoying, by the way. Mmm, Bongo. Filter. They are selling... Those are P-Falls, Brian. Get rid of that, and do that. And I really want this pause so that we don't accidentally sell... They're actually really cheap. That sucks. So I'm just gonna release you to the wild, then. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, all right. We're about to get more P files uh, growing up. We should probably wrap this episode up though. So yeah, because I gotta do another one. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. We're making points. So next episode, we should really look at uh, buying something new, getting some more new animals. It's been a couple episodes. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.